Okay, now that we have learned how to identify polynomials as well as classify by terms and degrees, let's learn how to add and subtract. Very easy task. So here we have a quadratic trinomial added to another quadratic trinomial. And we can simply just drop the parentheses because there's nothing out front of any of these polynomials except the understood one. So I really simply just distributed the understood positive one here, allowing me to drop all parentheses because I've distributed the understood one. And now we are simply going to combine like terms, like I said. So we have the two quadratics, so three and a negative seven is negative four, and it's a quadratic term. Then we have our linear terms, that gives us minus five x, and then we have our constants. Now always consider the operation in front of the term. So we have a positive two and a minus four, so that gives us negative two. So here we have a quadratic trinomial. The leading coefficient is negative four and it is written in standard form. Now let's look at subtraction. A little bit different, but the same idea. So here we have the leading coefficient or I should say the number out front of this parentheses is an understood one. However, in front of this polynomial, it's minus, so it's like an understood negative one. So here I'm going to distribute the understood one, and then we're going to distribute the negative one to each of these terms. So that gives me positive 7x squared, positive 1x, and positive 4. Now we can just combine like terms. So the quadratic terms give me 10x squared. You just add your coefficients. You don't change the variable or the exponent. Then my linear terms give me negative 3x. And then my constants give me plus 6. So we have a quadratic trinomial. So now pause the video and then we will come back and work these together. Okay, number one we're adding. So we can simply dissolve the parentheses. and combine like terms. So my quadratic terms give me negative 2x squared. My linear terms give me minus 3x. And then my constants give me minus 2. So this is a quadratic trinomial. My leading coefficient is negative 2. Number 2, we are subtracting this trinomial and this trinomial. So we have 6x squared minus 7x minus 1. We're going to distribute this negative 1. This is an understood negative 1. And so we have a positive 8x squared minus 4x plus 1. Now we can combine my quadratic terms, 14x squared, our linear terms, minus 11x, and then our constants become 0. So now this turns into a is still quadratic because it has a degree of two, but it's a binomial because it has two terms. Our leading coefficient is six, or I'm sorry, we're here. Our leading coefficient is the 14. The leading coefficient up here is negative two. In our last one, we're gonna have negative x squared, plus 9x plus 12. Distribute this understood negative 1 to each of these terms. That gives us negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. We're going to combine the quadratic terms.
that gives me negative 2x squared. Then we have our linear terms plus 15x and our constants. Again, consider the operation in front. So that's 12 minus 5 gives us plus 7. This is a quadratic trinomial leading coefficient of 2. Now let's talk about multiplying polynomials. Multiplying is very easy. All you have to do is apply the distributive property and the exponential